So why do narcissists try to turn their new supply into you? And that's a real thing. When narcissists move on from one supply onto another, they really crave the traits of the previous person, so they try to turn the new person. They try to mold the new person's traits, so it's very similar to, to the previous supply. Here's the thing. The narcissist liked what you offered. They liked how you made them feel. The supply which you gave them, it really did hit the right spot. You know, the way you admired them, the way you focused on them and made them feel good about themselves. And the narcissist being on the receiving end of that, it's almost as if they were some superhuman with superhuman strength and abilities. It really puts them in a high standing place. They really feel a sense of purpose and pride by simply existing. That's what happens when you, the supply who, who was valuable to them, would behold them as the object of your attention. You put them in a very high place that they can't sustain without you. But here's the thing. No matter how much good you provide the narcissists, they will always ruin things. And the reason for that is they need negative supply just as much as they need positive supply. So naturally, when they have those moments when they're not happy about something, they might be experiencing some type of inner turmoil. Maybe somebody said or did something that caused them a narcissistic injury. They used their doormat, which, which was you, to feel better about themselves. You know, they needed to wipe their dirty feet on you. So that's why they, they would project on you. They would make you feel bad. They would make you feel worthless. And then, of course, they would feel, feel relief from that. It would be temporarily, temporary relief because no relief lasts very long for the narcissist. So when you would first start experiencing those negative things from the narcissist, maybe you would let it slide at the beginning. You might even make excuses for their negative behaviors, for their toxicity. But if you're no longer with them, most likely you would have reached a point where you had to accept them for who they really were. You couldn't make excuses for them anymore. You couldn't pretend that they were a wholesome, healthy person. You had to accept they were somebody who was toxic and negative. Anyway, so now they're not in your life anymore. You know, they needed a replacement. So as part of that process, they needed somebody to substitute the role that you played in their life. But finding a substitute, finding a perfect replacement isn't easy. It's not even possible because you were, you were unique. What you gave them was unique. The way you made them feel was unique. So the narcissist finds the closest target they can who had the qualities that you, you had. And of course, they still would have been quite different. But this person were, would have been naive as to the narcissist's ways, was gullible. So the narcissist had to find somebody and they, they got somebody who would entertain them. Once the narcissist is, is in the new, this new relationship with that person, they make it their life mission, their life purpose to transfer that per, transform that person to you. Because what they really want is that they have somebody who's tolerating them. They want that person to make them feel the way you did. So that in a way, they're training them, that person to give them the supply that you gave. They're training that person to admire them the way you did. They're training that person to put up with their nonsense the way you did. All the supply that they get from that person, in a way, they want that supply to heal, heal them, give them that temporarily, temporary relief that they felt with you. But it is a pity, though, because, first of all, the narcissist can never actually turn anybody into you. And secondly, the narcissist will always destroy whatever they have for that new person as well. Because even though things might start off well with that person, the narcissist needs negative supply from that person. The narcissist needs to project on that person. They need to use that person as their doormat. 
So it's just a matter of time before things either break up with that new person or that per that new person is a filthy doormat who just doesn't have anywhere to go. It's not a good place to be.